With regards to the latest update um, in relation to the population housing census... Director of Statistics at the Central um, Statistics the Office, Sean Mathre, provided an update on the National Population and Housing Census 2022. He said in the main, the data collection with enumerators on the ground has been completed. What obtains right now is what we refer to as mopping up and cleaning up. And what that entails is that you will still find enumerators out in the field. Um, and in instances when we visit a, a household and we made no contact, we'd use that opportunity to revisit the household to see if we could make contact with the, 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 the members of that household to, um, to do the enumeration. Also, during the mopping up, we also would um, also seek to ensure that the numbers that are assigned to the respective buildings are, are correct. Mathren added that the Central Statistics Office has transitioned from the data collection to the data processing phase and has engaged the services of two development partners, namely the United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC, and the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA. Um, with technical support from UNFPA, we will be producing the preliminary count for the 2022 um, population housing census. UN ECLAC will facilitate a two-week capacity training workshop for staff of the Central Statistics Office in the application and use of a specialized software called Redatum. The Redatum software makes it possible to provide public access via the internet to census and survey microdata in a way that permits interactive tabulation, calculation of indicators and creation of maps while still protecting the confidentiality of individual statistical records. Mathren added that expressions of interest have also gone out for the hiring of a consultant for data processing. So there will be two aspects of the data processing. There will be actu the actual data processing, where a consultant would be assisting us in that. And there will be the other aspect where another consultant would be also um, conducting capacity building as it relates to the staff um, to, to do the data processing themselves. Because as you may know, we, um, next year we have scheduled an agricultural census. Richard wow. Harris, Deputy Director at the Central Statistics Office, said the Enterprise Census, which was conducted simultaneously with the Population and Housing Census, has been progressing slower than projected. But he is, however, satisfied with the progress made to date. The Population Census would have given us all the details required to get a count, a basic count of the um, establishments on the island. But the Enterprise Census was then um, attempting to provide a greater degree of um, granularity, a, a more detail in terms of the structure, the nature, the operations of the establishments that would have already been counted by the population census. So I am happy that um, even if we don't get full coverage in terms of the Enterprise Census, I am very satisfied that we would still get, we, we, we would still be successful at getting close to a complete count based on the work that was accomplished by the population census um, enumerators. The cleanup exercise for the National Population and Housing Census will continue for the month of November, while the enumeration process for the Enterprise Census is projected to end on December 13, 2023. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.